All right, welcome back to the channel, and I really appreciate you guys taking the time to check out this video. So with everything going on right now, the riots, the pandemic, all of the new gun purchases, people feeling the need to protect themselves, getting AR-15s, the restriction of, you know, they're constantly trying to take away your gun rights, everything going on, you cannot find AR-15 ammo, which is 223-556 anywhere. Okay, I couldn't find any 22 long rifle and I'm going to keep this video just to rifles, but just so you know, I couldn't find any 9mm, I couldn't find any 40 Smith & Wesson, there was a little bit of 45 ACP, but there was only a couple boxes left. So everything's kind of getting harder and harder to find and it's only going to get worse the further we dive into this thing. So I'm making this video on the 4th of July and well actually it's the 5th of July, the 4th of July was last night and uh. We're going to go over what you can still find on the shelf, okay? So, no 5.56, five, no 223 to be found. What are some alternatives, okay? Not in AR form, but just rifles in general, okay? So, I made a list from the most expensive to the cheapest. And you're currently looking at a chart provided by Bass Pro Shop Online. It's a, uh, you know, has all the different calipers and cartridges down here below. And then it tells you what they can be good for as far as taking down game, varmints, predators, things of that nature. So I'm going to get into it right now with the most expensive one, which would be the 243. Okay, right here where my cursor is, 243 Win Mag. The cheapest round I could find, cheapest load was $1.50 per round, and that can range greatly, probably all the way up to 3 to $4. Okay, all the prices I'm going to give are strictly just off, just off of the cheapest load I could find. Okay. 243 Win Mag, okay? Taking down predators, environments, maybe at long range, and maybe you could probably take down some deer, obviously at short range, okay? 243 Win Mag, $1.50 per round. Moving over to the 25-06, okay? $1.50 per round, same thing, but you're gonna gain a little bit more range in there, all the powder in this cartridge backed up in there, okay? You got deer, black bear, caribou, sheep, goats, and all the predators before it as well, too, such as coyotes, stuff like that. $1.50 per round for the 25 out 6. Moving over to the 300 Win Mag, okay? This is, this is an order of price, okay? Not game or anything else, cartridge size, nothing, okay? 300 Win Mag right here. You're adding everything before with the deer, sheep, goats, elk. Well, you're adding in the elk, actually. Okay, so 300 Win Mag can actually take down uh, a little bit more, which we're gonna throw elk, grizzly, black bear, and even it's in the lower spectrum for the moose, taking down a moose, okay? 300 Win Mag, $1.40 per round. Now we're gonna skip over to the 7mm, okay? Seven millimeter Remington Mag, right here next to it. It's a little bit taller. There's the comparison there, and it can take down basically everything that the 300 mag can, but it looks like it's left out of the category for the grizzly black bear and moose. Okay, just follow this chart if my rambling is somewhat confusing to you guys, and you'll, you'll check it out. So, that was our fourth one, the 7mm. Okay, that was $1.25 per round. Now we're going to move over to... Let's see, where is it? The 270 win mag, okay? 270 win. Right here, it's a dollar per round, straight up. One dollar, cheapest load I could find. Good for hogs, lower spectrum for the elk, deer, black bear, caribou, sheep, goats, predators, of course. And uh, you guys can pick those up for a dollar per round. Let's see, one that's not listed on here. Um, in this chart, well, actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and tell you. It's the uh, the 6.5 Creedmoor, okay? It's not listed on this chart, but that was one that uh, was there. Um, the 6.5 Creedmoor was designed, I'm sure some of you have heard about it. It was more for competition shooting. It does really good, you know, 1,000 yards, shooting paper targets. You could obviously take down some small game with it as well, but uh, I, I found that odd that that wasn't listed on here. Um, maybe because it's not intended for hunting, it's more intended for um, competition shooting. But 
That was a 6.5 Creedmoor at a dollar per round. Now, the 35, or sorry, the 30-06, okay? 30-06 Springfield right here, a dollar per round as well. And you can see hog, elk, deer, black bear, caribou, sheep, goats, and obviously any predators. Um, you can take those out as well. So the last and final one, I'm looking at my list here. It's going to end up being the 308. Okay, the 308. Where are we at? Right here, 308. Right in between the 270 and the 30 out 6. We have the 308 win. Okay, hog, elk, deer, black bear, caribou, sheep, goats, everything mentioned before. 90 cents per round. Okay, so basically, there are other calipers that you can still find, other cartridges that you can still find right now during an ammo shortage, pandemic whatever the cause may be for, you know, the ammo shortages come and go, you know, whether the factories are shut down, whether they're trying to take away your gun rights and the prices go up and, you know, people will get scared and you, you can't, uh, you can't find anything on the shelf, etc. So, uh, there was really no comparison here with the 22 long rifle real quick. Now that I'm looking over here, um, the 17 HMRs, those were pretty much gone. I think I did see some of these 22 WMRs here. Um, I think those were actually still there. I don't know what the price was on those, but uh, you could still probably find those. But 22 long rifle, yeah, that's gone, obviously, because it's a fun shooting little plinker, small game. It's usually like the first thing to go along with the uh, 223, 556. But anyways, there's still plenty of great calipers out there that, you know, just because you can't find uh, 22, uh, 223, 556, it doesn't mean that it's hopeless, you know. All of these cartridges that I've mentioned were on the shelf by the thousands still. Like, nobody had even wanted them. Um, the 308, I will say, that was, people were digging into that, the 308, you know. That's the AR-10s. Um that was pretty much the only one everything else there was just plenty of ammo on the shelf uh yeah the ones i mentioned anyway so i'm gonna go over real quick one more time uh, i guess i'll start with the largest caliper this time uh and go back down just as a refresher so the 300 wind mags that was on there for a dollar 40 per round okay dollar 40 per round here's where you can take down right there okay moving over the 7mm remington mag that was on there as well that was a dollar twenty-five per round. Okay, we're going from biggest cartridge down to the smallest, the thirty out six Springfield. That was on there for a dollar per round. Moving over to the three hundred eight was ninety cents per round was the cheapest load I could find. The AR ten three hundred eight ninety cents per round. The two seventy win. Okay, that was a dollar per round as well. So right in here, these are this is like your, your budget zone, your money zone here. You know, right now you can find uh, online 556-223 for, you know, 42 cents a round in bulk. So these are double the price, but, I mean, you can still find it by the thousands. So I'd rather have a cartridge at double the price than not have a cheap cartridge at all. So just something to consider there. Um, 25-06 right there. That was a dollar fifty per round. Moving over to what was that the last one? Oh, the thirty thirty. You know, I didn't mention the thirty thirty. There was a little bit of ammo on the shelf with the thirty thirty. Okay, but thirty thirty is a popular popular cartridge still. You know, uh, it used to be more so popular before as like a brush gun type deal. Um, I own a 3030 and I was talking to one of the clerks and he said that, you know, everyone's going up into their attic and grabbing their grandpa's 3030 to protect the home with. So I personally like the 3030. I've got a Marlin lever action, you know, uh, I really like that. But, uh, you know, you can still find it a little bit. He had a little bit on the shelf, not a whole lot. So 
the 25, no, nope, two, two, that was it. That's it. So I guess I'll just wrap this video up. You guys are listening to me blabber on. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. Uh, hopefully I can continue to bring you guys decent comment content and uh, check me out in the next video. Thanks guys.